All right, guys, welcome to another classic game. This one has another co oper so the blue player is Zhang Adal. Um, yeah, this is an islands game. However, seeing as it's a classic game, I wouldn't get too disappointed right off the bat. There's going to be something crazy, or so I read about this one. I've never seen it before. Just similar to the last one, I've, I've never seen this before. So this will be very exciting. And again, I don't know the skill level of these players either, so we can try and guess from what we see. Let's look, at, uh, and I'm sorry also, my my voice is kind of raspy after last game because there was, certain, there was a certain thing that happens, no spoilers, that caused my throat to just like break in half for whatever reason. I'm literally like, my, my head is, like my neck is at a 90 degree angle and my throat is in half. That's how I'm casting this. I don't have face cam on, but you can believe me. On the red, we have Chico Bento. I'm going to call him red. He's playing as a Spanish. In the orange, we have Solado do Alem playing as the Mayans. <clears throat> I'm going to call him orange. In the green, we have Master O Corvo, and he is playing as the Chinese, and I'm going to call him green. So that's that team. It's a 3v3 team islands. A Zang Zangadao is here in the blue. And he's playing as the Huns. In the teal, we have Bara Brava playing as the Teutons. And then in the gray, we have Kurt playing as the Byzantines. Now, um, I don't know when you're watching this. There's always a potential that on YouTube, people watch this, like, not in order with my other videos. So this is a classic game. This was played years and years and years ago. I was a wee little boy. I was a wee little lad. And I... I cannot give you the exact date, but I'm guessing it was around seven or eight years ago, um, based off the file. And so this is a long time ago. That puts me at about like <clears throat> 15 years, and I was not playing the game then. Build orders were different. I can already tell that these guys are not the most experienced players because the way they're collecting sheep. And we'll fast forward now. This isn't a classic. This is on a, a website called AOC Box. You can always download the matches yourself and put it into your save game folder. And watch it on Voobly. <clears throat> but yeah, this is going to be a very good game from what I read. <clears throat> and I'm not I'm not sure what it has for us. We'll just have to see. Now, I'm fast forwarding. A back dock from Orange indicates he'll probably fish boom a bit. And that's not too uncommon from a uh, pocket player. It looks like Teal's actually going to dock on the front. So... You know, normally you see a galley rush on islands. You want to gain water control. But in team islands, you know, you need to have the team aspect. You need to communicate as to where you need to go. <clears throat> on this particular map, it looks like there's deep fish everywhere. These players will dock. I'll try and pay attention to that. And I am going to fast forward when I have the opportunity. There's always the potential these games can be long. And like I said, my voice is not completely in it currently. But yeah, as you can see, deep fish on the back for orange, uh, red. Well, it's easier if I do it this way. Red is actually not docked yet, which is a big no-no, but he may be going down here. So there's no deep fish there. That would be a bad dock. Not quite sure. Uh, blue has docked on the front. This is the other team now. And oh, he got so unlucky. Look at that. There's no deep fish here. You would think there would be, but they're all down here. And over here, so a little bit unlucky from blue. Green is not docked, and that's the other. I'm not sure why it's bouncing all around, but that is actually the other flank. So a lot of these players actually not docking, so let's just not look at the docks for now. And we'll, we'll fast forward a bit. Let's talk about the civilizations. There's Mayans, Spanish, and Chinese. Well, Mayans, I mean, their, extra, their resource bonus is very, very nice. But in the late game, they're not one of the civilizations you want on water. Spanish, however, are very strong. Chinese are very strong. So it's always nice to see those on civs on water. Uh, Huns are good on water. Byzantines are good on water, as are Teutons. Um, but Teutons aren't the best because they do lack Bracer. <clears throat> so it looks like both teams are lacking a civilization. Well, lacking three strong water civilizations, in my opinion. But they can always make do. Teutons also have decent economies. Uh, NMNM195 says hello everybody. 
Not sure if you're just joining, but this is a classic game from years and years ago. And uh, it looks like the skill level was rather low. That'll make it very interesting. You can see that the Feudal Age upgrades are coming in at different times. But yeah, glad to have you here. <clears throat> but their understanding of the, the island's builds are <clears throat> close to what you should be doing. I mean, you want to transition everything away from food to wood. I mean, the times are certainly late, but then you send to gold and then you grush. So I assume we're going to see a grush. <clears throat> and then I'll slow it down a little bit. That's a benefit of a wreck. You can address a lot of different things. <clears throat> Blue sending villagers, I assume, to build more docks. And one thing that I want to point out is that this would be a really nice area for Blue to transport. Green is very exposed here. And maybe in lower level games, there's more of a potential for transporting because they miss a lot of things. <clears throat> We'll have to see, but normally when there's like a short distance between islands, I always think about transporting mainly because I suck at water. There was one instance that has been lost to the world because I forgot to save the VOD, but I actually landed <laughs> onto a secondary island, which is not in team islands, but in 1v1 standard islands, I made a grave error and um... Yeah, I'm not good at islands, but that's exactly what I would do. Just land and forget the water altogether. This is a very strong build from Teal, and Red is not even in the feudal age yet. That's a very late time, and he is going to lose those fishing ships at this rate. <clears throat> so Teal has an advantage. Keep in mind, we are probably seeing a fish boom in Fast Castle from the Mines player. He doesn't have too many fish, though, or fishing ships. Now, it looks like... Oh, wait, hold on a second. That's Orange's guy. What? Okay, so Orange is actually building docks in the front, and he's actually helping out. That was confusing. Like I said, this is not something you normally see. You don't normally split up docks like that, but, you know, I can kind of, <clears throat> I don't know, give an explanation for that decision from Orange. It looks like he just wanted to keep his fishing ship safe, but <clears throat> now it's going to be green, orange, right here with blue, here, and teal here so there but it looks like um all the teams are kind of split up and there's a lot of docks as well so we're gonna see that galley rush i don't see any landings yet well hold on a second that's orange's eagle he definitely landed the eagle at least and there's the transport we gotta we gotta turn this down to 50 speed there is way too much i'm missing and that is not acceptable orange just transported his eagle and back to what i said i mean these small crossings it's <clears throat> definitely something you can do that's not something you want to do though, like you don't want to just show your eagle to your opponent. But man, good scouting info I suppose. Would be nice to land some archery ranges. It looks like green and orange are going to run down here and try and attack blue. Blue has five docks already, but he really doesn't have that many galleys. Normally you want to make sure you can keep every single dock working before you make more. But they could win this fight if they go in I think. On 50 speed, everything will be very slow. Blue needs to get up here to help Teal. Teal might be doing the wrong thing when attacking Red. I'm not sure. Like, <clears throat> Red's going to come out now. But if Teal were to come down here and maybe help out Blue, in the grand scheme of things, that might be the better team decision. <clears throat> it looks like Red booming up his economy. No transports. It's interesting that Orange made the transport. I assume from this back dock. And I'm not sure where he sent that transport. But here's the water battle I'm talking about. Blue actually has a decent engagement. I don't see fleshing on any of these ships. Red is now coming into hell. So it's kind of a 3v1 versus blue. And teal is nowhere to be found. It's kind of odd the way their docks are set up. Blue needs to run away until he gets some support. A very smart for red to come in. <sighs> the way I can download this replay and watch it later. Yeah, um, you can get Rex on AOC zone. AOCZone.net, or you can always go to AOC Box. I actually just Googled it. I don't think it's AOCBox.com, but I could be wrong on that. And you can get it there. Baloo's gonna lose his navy at this point, but you need to add it to your save game folder on uh, under standard AOC. This is obviously on Boobly. I'm still trying to pay attention to what's happening. Unfortunately, like, I need to play it on 75 speed for it to have, like, no lag. So I think I'm just going to do that throughout this water battle. You can see that, like, the water is actually going back into blue and teal's favor here. It's just like when I'm watching the wreck, it seems I need to find a decent 
compromise and maybe this speed is it because I don't want there to be like a bit of like wreck lag I mean gray is now come over to help out um, no one's in the castle age yet gray was a little bit late so red's gonna lose these docks lose that villager and all of a sudden blue held on <laughs> it looks like teal gray and blue are in a better position on water which normally means that if you if you lose water you want to try and boom get up to the castle age first and try and push it back and i think that orange is in a decent position with this little pocket of space he has maybe get it to the castle age first and do just that but green is going to lead him right there but look at all the ships from blue he's not using i did see fletching come in for some of the players like teal has it uh, green has it as well. Green's gonna patrol in and fight. There's no support, like the communication just not here between the teams. And that leads me to believe that the one time the teams do communicate, it's gonna really mean the fight's gonna go in their direction. <clears throat> and the patrolling's happening now. Um, and this is essentially what a galley war is. But still, I don't think that green and orange have the numbers. <sighs> still no transports. I'm watching on the minimap. Nothing I can see. At this speed, it's very hard to tell. <clears throat> Red has lost his docks, though. He's not really offering anything on water. He is on his way up to the Castle Age, which, again, is kind of what you do. Once you can't make ships anymore, you try and get to the Castle Age. Try and redock if you can. He should probably try and build down here if he wants to help out. <clears throat> Green is still making more units out of these docks. Credit to him. Orange is pushing in, and Blue is actually going to lose some units here. Just running them through without patrolling. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is not a pretty wreck to watch. For whatever reason, it's just very choppy. Just very, very choppy. Um, and I apologize for that, but there's nothing I can do when I'm watching this wreck. I can always slow the speed down. You guys tell me. The live chat can tell me. Because if I slow the speed down, this is what it looks like. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, green's going to fight blue with orange. Blue's actually patrolling this time, but blue does not have the numbers. I feel like I need to find a good compromise, personally, but... Teal has a large navy up here. He's on his way to the castle age. Ideally, he needs to hold on to those numbers and upgrade them. Red is not docking... Uh, he has one dock on the way, so Red's not going to offer much in the Castle Age. And here comes the push from Teal. So Teal's going to try and sandwich. Blue's here. This is a very important fight for both teams. Green and Orange. I think they need to fight this one. Because Teal's going to have the upgrades before Green and Orange. And oh man, what are you doing? Green's not fighting. Teal is. Teal's not. This is bad. This is very, very bad. Especially with Red unable to help. I assume you guys are satisfied with the speed. And, and uh, very interested in following the election. So I'm just going to continue with uh, adjusting the speed on my own. Gray hasn't really helped out the team. But he is here with a large navy. Red has a ton of docks. And he's now going war galley, but I don't think he'll have the numbers. He was going to have a ton of ships, and Green's going to lose his docks now. Okay, so... Let's talk about the maps a little bit. Like, Gray, his main gold is accessible. So if Red's able to push over here, he can actually have some success and push Gray off that. Gray doesn't have a lot of space here. In fact, all his wood can be disrupted. Um, looking at the other golds, maybe... Blue seems to have more than enough space. Green seems to have more than enough space. That's a large navy from blue. And a large navy from teal. As I said, they shouldn't give these guys time to get their upgrades. So they should definitely go in now. And I think they're going to do that. You know, you definitely want to get ballistics first. <laughs> Absolute bread said he's still waiting for something incredible to happen. Well... Yeah, I wonder what it's going to be. At this point, you know, it's just a standard galley war. I haven't seen any transports. There's one galley back there. Actually, 
stopping that house. I haven't seen any transports, and it does look like the one team's going to lose the water, effectively. I mean, it's kind of obvious to me, and because of that, I'm going to just speed it up. <sighs> now, this will be a big engagement. It'd be stupid for me to speed it up too much. So we're going to find the happy medium again. All the upgrades in for orange. Missing careening, though. Teal... I believe has ballistics and careening, and blue's here, and gray is here. I mean, there's no way they should be able to win this. <coughs> Sorry. Um, they're gonna lose their docks, they're gonna lose their ships. I'm looking at the build count. They need to just boom up, and... Currently, they're not, they're not in a bad position with their, with their villagers. But they're always gonna struggle now, because the other team can fish boom. The other team can land them. They have nothing to, to stop them from landing. And that's the position they're in. Um, in a team game on islands, sometimes what you'll see is just a boom, a castle on water, and try and get back in it in the Imperial Age. Blue is about to be in the Castle Age here. You can see green just hit. Green's gonna probably try and boom up. But that's a massive navy. And it looks like Red lost a ton of villagers here. So. Uh, you can see the boom is starting now. The big boom. But, you know, red could be in trouble. If galleys come over here, dead villagers. Galleys come over here, probably can't access all of that gold. Here, no wood. Well, once he chops through some tiles. Even over here, like, this is... I mean, red is going to have some issues. Even back here, orange will struggle. That's just what water control gives you. Looks like the mine player, I'm on his, not his point of view, but I'm looking at his base. His economy is kind of strong. He's getting some relics. I mean, as Mayans, three TCs right now with a lot of farms. It's not too bad. Looks like everyone else is done creating things on the water. Oh, Teal is going to transport a stable and he's going to go knights. And this is exactly what water control brings you. It allows you to transport. Um, someone says, why are there two blue players? Yeah, the one is actually spectating. Way back then, you couldn't spectate matches. Like you can now on Voobly. In fact, Voobly is the only... Uh, I shouldn't lie. Um, Voobly is the one who really pioneered for everything that we do now. Um, like HD doesn't even have this. HD you would have to do what Blue's doing now. Um, so like, you couldn't like do 8 player games and spectate back then. You would have to do a 3v3 and then have someone like, play as Blue and then just watch everything from his point of view and not touch, basically, and co-op. Um, so that's, that's basically what it is. Uh, Teal has a lot of knights and I don't think Red sees this. Oh my gosh, he's just now seeing it with the villager. And he's gonna try and wall it in, but that's not gonna be enough. He has a lot of resources. He needs to lock this area down with a castle. He has enough resources for a castle. Actually, he did, but now he's just placed that stone wall. There's no way he should be able to get this stone wall completed. He was coming out with knights. Now this is bad. This is very bad for red. And this is exactly what Teal and Blue need to do. All they really need to do here Hold the water control, get the fish boom going. That's 10 knights, 20 knights coming probably with plus two defense and forging and then a siege workshop. But there's a castle from red. He's gonna lose villagers on this wood line and of course the knights can go right towards the Mayan player who is actually going castle age eagle warriors. Hmm. SLG Eagle Warrior is not going to be the best. Teal is just running the villagers right through the economy of red. I'm not sure what he is playing with that, but Orange is not going to be able to help out with just eagles. I mean, those knights have bloodlines, and they also have forging. Now, the eagles, we'll see how they do now. As you can see, now holding up. Actually, red's going for pikemen. He's making pikemen, but... It's gonna be rough. I mean, red could always complete this wall, but then this is gonna be open because of blue's water control. So there's so many different things they have to deal with right now, and they're just so far behind. Orange is coming out to try and get some conversions. 
it's just a wild game right now folks a wild wild game over here blue his water control is looping around like i said it will definitely disrupt economy and green might need to be thinking about sending some camels to help out because if red dies it, i mean it's already not easy but if red dies it's going to be even more difficult I find it very interesting the Eagles are coming out from, from Orange, but he may have no other choice except Pikeman as Mayans. He could always go for Plumed Archers, I guess, but he, he may not be on stone. When was the Spectator option released? Yeah, it actually wasn't too long ago. It was just a couple years ago now, and this game is very, very old. I like how Teal's being ballsy with these villagers. There's a castle now from, from the Mayan player, and he's actually putting it forward, and this is interesting because it will actually push some of these galleys away. But Red is... just struggling. This is his economy here. He does have some villagers... well, not producing, but over here next to these town centers. Very well played from Teal, and honestly now, like, Teal... It probably, I think, once he runs into this amount of pikemen, take his foot off the gas and get to the Imperial Age <laughs> or build a castle in the middle. That's actually a wise move um, just to hold the map control, but just get up to the Imperial Age. And you know what? Gray is doing just that. Gray has been untouched. He's Byzantines. Look at that nice economy. You can see uh, six TCs on my screen right now. Beautiful stuff. And there's a seventh there. Again, I've said this before in the classic game we did earlier. That's not the ideal build order, but whatever. He obviously has a strong eco, and this is just a massive navy back here disrupting things as well. So we have we have an opportunity to pause and talk about things as Teal's castle might actually be denied. And that's a lot of wasted stone. We have an opportunity to pause and talk about things. However, I, I don't think I'm going to... Yeah, you know what, screw it. I'm going to do it. So this is a wreck, and I'm going to take advantage of it. This game should be... Should be over. It should be over. Now, this was in a classic folder and on AOC box for a reason. I'm still not sure what to expect. But it should it should be over. So let's talk about why it should be over, and then we'll continue. You can see that Gray's on his way to the Imperial Age. You can see that he has 105 villagers and he has a massive army of 50 military. So he's going to obviously hold down the water. And that's not just him. Blue as well and Teal. So, I mean, with his economy, he can go cannon galleons. He can transport and go rams and push in. And do a great job against mines as well if he does go lands. I mean, he can go hand cannons. Um, I mean, that'd just be, hand cannons and rams would be effective. Uh, ideally, cataphracts if he has the right economy, but that's, that's asking an awful lot of him. Blue is over here. He's playing as Huns. <clears throat> He's going to be in the Imperial Age as well. Green, like, green has not clicked up yet. Green's over here. Green cannot stop him from landing. So, like, Hun Cavalier or Cav Archers would just be very difficult for green to deal with so i mean there's just so many different things with the team on the right not having any control and just holding and also being behind in the upgrades not just the military but the economy it's it's gonna have to be they have to do something that's very difficult and they have to boom their economy up stronger and defend at the same time which is normally something that you can't do in situations like this <clears throat> Well, this is very similar to what Red did in the last game we casted. And Orange is just going to send over villagers and just make TCs. And he's just going to maybe try and just boom up, even though he's going to lose economy. Just boom, 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 boom. <clears throat> Orange has a lot of pikemen here. Red has a castle, two castles, which will stop Gray for a while. And look at this, T90 Stradamus strikes again as Gray actually lands here. And he's going to push in. We are going to see the push on land. Now again, the threat is still there. They could always try and like counter raid. Blue actually has some outposts up everywhere. So they'll see everything. They could always counter raid. But in this situation, they shouldn't be able to counter raid. They have to defend. And now blue is here. 
And Blue is going to transport as well. This is just well played from the team on the left. Now, Blue's going to transport a castle as well, which will help him get up stables or, or trebs or, or whatever. Um, just, just, just well played. I mean, they're going over at the same time. Atil has taken his foot off the gas so he doesn't run into pikemen. And I assume we will see another transport. Now, one thing I want to touch on is that Green is doing the right thing. He has actually placed castles on the shoreline. Blue is coming in here, but Green has placed one here as well, so he could try and win back water. Castle from Orange here as well. Uh, military in the middle. <sighs> At this point, it is still very hard to see them defending from the trebuchets and pushing back on water, but they are giving themselves an opportunity to do so with the castles on the water. Um, they can maybe add some docks in. Now I'm going to look at Orange's point of view. He's not doing, he's not, well, he is creating villagers. He's creating some trebuchets and he might try and push out and attack castles, but he's not doing, he has no docks, nothing on water. He has halberdiers here. And oh, he's actually going for docks here. So this is, this is the area where they're going for docks right there by that castle. And of course, Teal, not expecting the castle to be there, patrolled right into it. So this is, okay, their moment. Blue has a ton of galleons here, though, and that is going to... That means that the right-hand side needs a lot of military. Fire ships probably will come out from... Well, I, I assume galleon will be the choice. Like, that's the ideal, but... I thought I saw fast fire come in from... Orange. I could be wrong. Not creating anything yet, but Green's going to lose his castle. Blue has a ton of trebs. He's actually going to petard through. And though he will lose his castle, he's going to run in and try and build some things. Green has Cavalier coming in. Green's also going to War Galley. I'm not sure. Oh, he's building docks on the back. Very interesting. So he's going to try and push. Orange is going fast fire ship, but he's going to need a lot of them. Meanwhile, Gray is pushing up here. And this is getting to be an interesting game because we've seen fights on water. And now we're seeing transports everywhere. I mean... One villager is left from Teal, building a castle on an important wood line for Red, and that's going to go up at this rate. Unless, actually, you know what? The Scorpions could finish off that villager. They need to go over there and around to do that, but they should do that. That'd be a heartbreaker for Red. Halberdier's running over. Gonna run into the Cavaliers that were also transported. But this is a wild game. What's Blue doing? Blue has been forced back. And, ooh, Blue could lose his landing as well as the Cavalier come out from, ooh. I thought they were Cavalier from Green. Maybe he canceled it. The Knights come out and destroy that. The Red's saying GG, sorry. And he's probably apologizing because he didn't see the landing. Gray's coming out with a ton of arbs. And, you know, our are going to be hard to deal with when there's only Halvadiers here. Uh, we could see maybe skirmishers from, from Orange, but he's going to need a lot of them, and that's a lot of Arbalists as well. Gray is everywhere, though. He has water on, water control on the right side. He's helping out there. Sad to see that, though. He's actually going to get that castle up. He's also on the left side now, coming over. And I don't think I'm missing too much, but it does look like Blue has been cleaned up on the left. Now, I'm looking at the, the resources of Arch. He could definitely get some research in them, like maybe a leap from Darcher. But still, they're at the point where they're still defending. They're not pushing back out. They need an opportunity. And you know what? Here come fast fires. Okay, so maybe the team on the left is focusing a little bit too much on lands and not scouting around the back. Red's just basically walling now at 43 villagers, 44 population. Gray's pushing it on land. We're going to see a lot of fast fires here, guys. I mean, I, a lot. I think Orange is going to wait till he has a critical mass. This side's been cleaned up, and keep in mind that Gray and Blue's military is basically useless over here on water. And Green also has a ton of galleons here, so we could see a comeback coming. We could see it. 
If they clean up the water, then they control the land as well. The only thing on this side that really will cause them problems is that one castle and that one stupid villager. But, I'm not biased at all. That, that one stinking villager. But, <clears throat> if they take that castle out with maybe some trebs, then take out this castle, the water control changes everything. And here come the fires, and that's a lot of fires. I don't know if it's going to be good enough though, as blue sends in units and that castle still stands. And it's a Tootin' Castle, which doesn't help things. But the fires are coming around. There's still a lot back here. I would have waited. Now, green's coming around on this side. And holy heavy cab archers from blue. He's trying to cut through fortified wall. Well, that's insane. Looks like some trade has started on the main island on this side. I haven't really looked at the left team side. I mean, keep in mind, um, we're at an hour... And once you get to like an hour and a half, as Grace trying to open up a, a spot for these Cavalier, once you get to an hour and a half of an Islands game, players start to run out of wood. So the team on the right needs to, needs to push this back in soon. Because they're already kind of struggling for resources. And Teal is pushing in now. And... I mean, he has champions, he has bombard cannons. And they do anything against this. I mean, this is quite a military force up against them now. They have, I think they have to, again, I said it before, it's like they have to win in two different spots. Before it was economy and military, now it's like military in two different areas, land and water. Ooh, green, with the great engagement here, he doesn't have greening. But, to be honest, his mining camp saving him. Blue's patrolling right into that and the castle. Green should have continued to fight there, in my opinion. Fire ships out here from Orange. And some galleons in support. That's a very good combo. If he sends in his fire ships here, he might be able to sandwich this army. But still, he has to address the land army coming in from Teal. Bombard Tower. Those guys are pesky. Elite Eagles aren't going to do enough against Elite Teutonic Knights and Champions. Red is still hanging on, guys. He's at 37 villagers. Like, we haven't talked about him in a while, but he is barely alive. Building a siege workshop now to help out. Is that trap gonna stay alive? Is Green gonna do some damage with that? Well, maybe not for long. Water on this side is still in favor of the team on the left side of this map, but it looks like Green is pushing up with Orange. And Orange is trying to win this fight, and I think... I think now that the army's been pulled back from the other team, I think that Orange actually might be able to win this fight. It's more important that they hold on land now as the Arbalest and Champions come in. The Bombard Towers now. What? What's the choice from the Mines player who's effectively the only person fighting? I, sh I shouldn't say that. Green does have some, some light cap, but not going to help out too much. Green's really trying to defend from blue. And he's done quite well from the looks of it. Just Arbalest from Orange, not going to be enough. This Halberdier is not going to be enough. In my opinion, he needs to mass a ton of them. And his Bombard Towers, they really just... Oh, they should just be removed from the game. I hate them so much. I shouldn't say that. People like their Bombard Towers, but I just hate them. I just hate them. Red's desperately trying to get a market up. So, he's able to sling resources, I assume. This is a fight that I do not see Orange winning, but Red actually made some scorpions to help out, which is nice. Orange, oh, he's raiding the trade with Galleons. And Blue has water control here, he's coming back, and believe it or not, Green and Orange still push him on the left. I think they will clean up water. Wow, so it's almost as if the team on the left have chosen to abandon water altogether and focus on land now if they lose their military on land let, let's just let's just talk okay we're gonna pause again we're gonna we're gonna pause again uh this is this is crucial now um <clears throat> this is actually a lesson you can learn depending on your skill level how do you get food you need wood to create farms what will they not have a lot of if there's ships surrounding their base wood what happens if they lose their 
army here. They need to create more. What happens if they don't have water control and all their buildings are around the outer edge of the island? These are just possibilities and they're long shots because there's so many buildings here. But again, a small spoiler is that this is a classic game and we are seeing a small comeback here from orange, green, and red. Also, the trade has been raided and you can see that the wood is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Hmm. Let's see how this goes. But still, I mean, it's going to be a very difficult task for the team on the right to hold against this. Arbalest are behind champions. Bombard towers. I mean, Teal has almost everything here. And now, heavy cav archers are coming in from blue. And though they don't have bloodlines, they have every other upgrade. Castles here. Gray could actually collect wood on this side, so I don't think that's a huge concern. Elite Cataphracts now from Gray as well. This is pretty insane. Almost unstoppable. I'm, I'm holding out for some hope for this team that we're looking at here. Desperately trying to hold on. Green and orange, but... I don't know. They're building a castle now. What can they do? I, I just don't know. Well, for now, they have that water control we talked about. And that's good, but that's almost a waste of population for Orange. You see, he's 63 military, and he doesn't have anything defending back at home. Gray has a ton of elite cataphracts. I'm just waiting for these cataphracts to come in. And they are doing the right thing to get the map control with the bombard towers. And the only reason I don't like them is because they're so darn stubborn. It's like so game changing just to get one tower down but it looks like one has actually gone down it looks like green has focused that down he's done the right thing and believe it or not i'm not sure like green is actually holding this with just skirmishers and cavalier and that one trip i mean of course there are a few halberdiers and and skirmishers from orange but i mean this is this is pretty well done from them Green still has a lot of army here he can use. Blue, actually, he's probably waiting for blue because blue is thinking about getting that water control back. But no trade for this team. And gray is going to run out of wood eventually. And here comes the fight from the cataphracts. This is what they did not need. All those skirmishers going down. That's like 30, 40 population right there. What can they do to deal with the cataphracts? I don't know. Skirmishers, Halberdiers, that's not going to do it. They need a lot more. Heavy Cav Archers behind as well. Deadly combo, like I've said many times. And finally, once the Cataphracts come in, it honestly could be the end. And it should be the end. They, what they are lacking here is more siege. Like, the Bombard Cannons are not being used correctly. Just attacking random units like Skirmishers. You need to attack buildings. Siege Rams would probably be the better option because they destroy buildings very fast. But still, Green's holding on. He actually... Oh, he has TS Rocketry and he's going for a heavy Scorpion. So as Chinese, th that could be an effective choice. But he's going to need a ton of them to really do anything. On the right, Red is still hanging in there. He's at 56 fields. I would hate to be Red. I hate to be in the situation where you just have to survive. But he's doing that well. And uh, Orange is actually going to lose his economy shortly. And he's trying to help out. ATC's going down to fully upgraded champions. There's Cataphracts here. There's Hun Cab Archers. I mean, the combo is just awful. But now, there's a ton of Scorpions from... Both players that are in it on the right. And Gray will probably run out of wood eventually. I'm not crazy. Well, maybe I am because he is 15k. Alright, I want everybody to say T90's crazy in the chat. But look at the Scorpions! Without Siege Rams, and with Cannon Galleons here from Green, they could actually stop the push! For now! For now! They could just delay it. Wow. Will the left team live to re regret the lack of siege ram upgrade? Every single civilization- oh no, sorry, Teutons do not get siege ram. Well, two out of the three civilizations get siege ram. Huns and Byzantines get them. They're not doing that. So many scorpions here. And now cannon galleons from green, which is just an epic move. 
And they can always go around this way as well. Orange has found that wood line. Over here, it looks like green and blue are fighting. This is something I am glad I caught. And green, oh. Still missing greening, which is an important armor upgrade. Probably right to go back here. And probably good for blue to invest onto water to try and clean this up. But orange still has a lot left. Meanwhile, on land, this is developing into something classic for sure because the cataphracts are all gone. The water control will kill everything on land here. Those cannon galleons have 13 range. And the scorpions will just shred cab archers that don't have bloodlines. This is crazy. This is crazy. They're somehow still holding. Red's up to 75 population. More cataphracts coming in though. That's a ton of cataphracts. And if they get close to the, to the scorpions, they will kill everything. Just a very interesting game as Gray relocates a lot of his villagers. Green massing more cannon galleons and galleons. Uh, looks like Blue is undecided on where to fight, but his military count is at... Well, only 37, so that means it's all right here. But Green is definitely interested in pushing in here, and credit to him. He's also creating units and fighting here, and I think they're holding as well. And actually, as I say that, Orange's population is dropping like crazy, because he's losing his economy to these champions. He's sending Arbalest over. He needs to hold on to this right-hand side. That's where there's gold. That's where a lot of his space was that he needed. It's actually really, really bad for him. But he's making Arbalest, which is good. They don't have much trade running now. <laughs> I say trade running. Look at that. Green's actually sending a trade card. A trade cart, not a card. This is not a trading card game. This is war. Uh, Green has accidentally selected the trade card to send into battle. Uh, but he's pushing out with all these scorpions, skirmishers, and pikemen. And he's going to try and take out these towers and... It seems as though the team on the left is just unable to push this back now that they've lost that that one push on land. Which was a very long push, but slowly the momentum is just gaining and gaining and gaining for the team on the right. And Orange is holding on to the right-hand side with Arbalest versus the Cataphracts that'll help out, especially versus those champions. Um, the Scorpions... Obviously a good move. There's even two trade cards here from green, so maybe there for some morale. But... It is getting towards that point, I said an hour and a half, where... Players will run out of wood. <coughs> I think in, in 1v1s, it happens a lot earlier. So... Because it's not Team Island, so maybe we're going to see it a little bit past that. But, um, especially if players were selling wood for gold because they lost their trade, this could get nasty. And soon. But Gray is not finished. He's sending in more expensive elite cataphracts. But Green's not finished either. And neither is Orange. He has Arbless on the right, protecting that trade. With this small hill, I think that orange and green can hold, and red is almost at 100 population again. He's down here. Oh, boy. Yeah, he doesn't have any wood here. In fact, the wood situation is worse for the team battling on land, for the team on the right. Much worse. Look at that. And has green lost his... Oh, boy. Has green lost his navy? I think Green has lost his navy. This... Oh, that's game-changing. If, if Green can't access wood, and I believe they're about to lose it, then that could be game over. Blue did the smart thing and won water back. I obviously missed an engagement on the left. I mean, these three galleys or galleons can be cleaned up. <laughs> but the only wood that I can see for this team is like over here. Um, over here, over here, everything's in the line of fire, and then, of course, a couple trees. That's not gonna last too long. They really need to win the water back. You know, there's, that's the only thing they can do. Um, I'm trying to... I'm trying to think about, like... 
other possibilities here. Um, it's a it's a classic game. They didn't give me much info. The, the one thing that could be possible is in the back of my mind, but I don't want to say it. As blue sells a lot of resources. They gotta push back here. Teal is finally remassing military, and he's adding in skirmish, which I think is a wise move. I'm gonna go to Orange's point of view. I think he's the strongest on his team. And you can see all his lumber camps. Like, he doesn't have any... He's running out of wood. But Green has a large army. There's a lot of scorpions here. Can they push it back? They need to go for those pesky bombard towers. King snipe demo ships. <laughs> oh man, you guys have creative minds. They definitely need to just win land. I mean, if they can't win land, eventually they will be starved of wood. And you know what? That's a perfect move from Orange. Siege Rams is what they need here. Because if you look at the military composition now of Teal, it's mainly skirmishers. And the Siege Rams can get right underneath these castles. And the White Cap, they can do just that as well. Get right next to the skirmishers. This is a great fight for Green. And a great fight for his team. They really need this right now. Eagle's coming out as well. I'm paying attention over here. I did see Blue place the tower. He's raiding with some Light Cav. Um, he has all of his ships down here. Just taking out the docks. But I don't think that's the most important thing right now. I think this area is the most important because that's where all the wood is on the map. It really is a crazy fight. Orange needs to send in his one siege ram. Even though it's on 73 HP, he needs to do what he can. Gray's gonna lose his Byzantine castle, and that's a huge loss. And that's a huge pickoff for Green as well with those traps. Like, that's not an easy thing to do. But Tio now is probably realizing, he's like, okay, we need to change this up. And now Gray's gonna send in halberdiers for the light cap, hussars for the skirmishers, four bombard cannons, I believe, right there. That looks like two, but I'm pretty sure they're three. Man, it's like an accordion of Bombard Cannons. But man, the numbers are massing again for Teal and for Gray. It's not looking great. It, it really isn't. I mean, they're, they're not pushing back. And even if they get water control back with some miracle, they're not going to be able to, to access this middle area. I mean, if they had, like, Siege Onagers or Onagers right now, some miracle shots would be nice. Ooh, can that one ram get a hit? On the accordion of Bombard Cannons. Well, I don't think it matters now. They're, they're just going to go down. But still, <clears throat> pretty interesting fight here as Grayson's in more military. Green is, ooh, going to actually fight with Orange, who somehow, some way, is making more chips. How? How is this guy doing it? How? How? He's gonna come in, they're communicating, fire ships in front, galleons behind, and they're gonna try and kill Blue's military. I can't believe it, but it's happening. Over on this side, let's check the wood situation. Do you see any wood here? No, you just hear wind. That's it. Not much wood left. Not much wood left at all. We're at an hour and a half now. Getting closer to that hour and 45 minute mark. Getting closer to that two hour mark where there will be no wood left on this map and you're just relying on trade cards to just buy some wood. The lag is getting insane as there's so many military units and it is a wreck. And whoa! Who's who who's building the wonder? I missed it. Blue's building the wonder! <laughs> okay, so they're almost out of wood. And Blue's like, forget this, I'm gonna build a wonder. And now of course they're talking in the chat. <sighs> I feel kind of bad for green and for orange because they're actually pushing back now a bit. But if this is standard victory, I don't know if you noticed, I, I checked up here, I always like... I always look when it gets to points like this and like when I don't know if it's standard uh, victory or not. It says win this game by constructing a wonder by capturing all relics or destroying all enemies. I did give it a glance. And... 
I was I was kind of hoping that that green and orange would be able to pull that off, but there you go. It is now defend the wonder. Blue's gonna get that up first. That's gonna take a long time, and that's a huge investment as well. So if somehow, some way, orange and green can push back, and maybe red, I mean Let's face it, Red's not going to do anything, he's a 41 pop, but maybe then they can destroy that wonder or, or win the game. I don't know, they still have a long way to go, but they've they've come a long way. Since that wonder was placed, it's like Blue has given up. After he lost water, he just gave up. Teal is actually now going into water control. And honestly, that's probably the smartest thing. It literally is defend the wonder once they get that wonder up. But let's see guys, I am going to fast forward it now because honestly I think we are just going to see just a huge fight on land and Gray will probably make Hussars, but the rest of the players will defend on water. But if I were green and if I were orange, I would think about trying to get over there right now because that wonder has just been completed. But again, they're just focusing on so many things. Blue has a large navy. I thought he lost it. I lied. I think he will lose this fight now as Orange comes in, and credit right to Orange for doing such a good job this game. And you know what? Like he has faced an awful lot too. As Mayans pocket versus Byzantines, that is not easy. Look at his kill death ratio. <laughs> They're pushing in on land. I still don't think that's the priority. Do they have the time? That's the question. Blue's coming in now. Green has been behind in all these fights. Teal's not here. Again, like the mining camp saving the right hand team. Well, let's see if Orange can really turn it on now because it looks like Green's focusing on land. I want to see a transport. I really want to see a transport. Teal and Blue over here just holding. 261 years now. Red has no space. Red has no space to do anything. Like he can't even place a farm. Really, he's building a, a market now. Red is at 44 bills. He is a struggle. He might actually just be creating military. That's um, are from resources he's been slung. I'm looking at where this wonder's located. That's a vulnerable position. If a transport were to come back here with some trebs, like snippy-like, or something, but obviously resources are hard to come by right now. Orange is over here. Oh, Orange is in the middle, and he has transports, guys. 235 years. Are we gonna see a legendary wonder snipe? That would be insane. Okay, well, we'll see here in a second. I'm gonna slow it down. I dropped four frames. Four frames. So, I, I freaked out. A total of four frames out of, like, thousands. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm currently, um... Oh, look. That's nice snow. I'm currently... Having issues with my internet and such, so I'm, I'm worried. Oh, look at this! Look at the walling! <laughs> it's so smart from Greg just to wall the water. Um, he does have some holes, but that's, that's, that's very nice. But out comes orange. You're gonna keep a little bit slower speed now, just to avoid any any drops or something that I'm scared of. Trebs now. Um, he could go right in here, but he's gonna have to go against skirmishers and halbs from gray. Crazy Nick says it's such a, a waste of the little wood they have left. His octopus uses the the wall emote. Yeah, I mean, honestly, at this point. They're... The way they're gonna win the game is by the wonder, so I mean, I understand your point, but... <laughs> I mean, they're palisade walls, so I, I agree, it is, it is a waste, because palisade walls can be shot down. I, I guess they just really want to win it with this wonder, and... Are we gonna see the transport from Orange soon? I think we are going to have to see it soon, because I see Teal coming in on the mini-map. And Teal is definitely gonna loop around and try and sandwich. In fact, he's there already. 
I don't think Orange can win this one alone. Where is Green? Where is Green? Well, he has all of his military on land, which is not important. It, it's easy to to make fun and, and, and say, hey, Green, you're an idiot for being here. But honestly, this is still very important for Wood if this game does go on longer. Green does need to think about prioritizing water, though, and I do feel bad for Orange. Still, if he's able to get a sneaky transport, like, if he was able to transport here somehow and just, like, send the Trebs in, that's 4,800 HP. He could take that out with a couple volleys. But Orange is gonna probably lose his navy. I mean, he is completely outmatched on water. He's back here. He's gonna stop that wall off. But 179 years, so we're almost halfway. Orange needs to be careful not to waste his military. He needs to retreat to the castles. There's Arbalest here now as well. So it looks as though, like, they just want to get a transport or two across. But Green is his cannon galleons back here. There's just bad. A bad fight for Orange and Green. But one thing you may not know Galleons do an awful job against traps, and these traps will actually do a decent job. But holy ships! Holy ships! That's insane! my neighbors heard me they'd probably think I'm cursing this could this could be a decent fight for orange and for green one trap has gone down the traps need to keep focusing though they keep firing it's hard to say there's so many units here I mean obviously blue and, and teal are favored here the eagles are gonna patrol in front the, the lag is just insane this game was played I don't know how long ago now as ships are right now back here from Orange, and this is where he should probably think about transporting. Go right in here. And I'm not sure what that is. I think villagers were killed off just to save some population. But look at this. Did someone go back? Or what happens here? I'm not sure. Red is back to 123 population for the first time in over an hour. Blue did go back. And Teal's gonna lose some of his navy. The transport's gonna happen, guys. The transport's gonna happen before this game ends. And the legend of Sol Soldado DLM is continuing. But Blue has a ton of galleons. But where's Green? I'm waiting for Green. Some demos, just something. Look at the traps doing work. Just one shot in these galleons. They have to fight this now. They're completely surrounded. Come out with your hands up, orange and green. Come on. Come out with your traps up. And those traps are doing a great job. Blue, he's thinking about going back now. This is crazy. But look at the look at the defense they have back at home. I mean they have skirmishers, they have halberdiers. Can a sneak really do it? Can a transport really do it now? I think the only area that is vulnerable is probably this this side over here, which is now being cleaned up. I hate to lose hope, but honestly, I, I think unless they somehow win a big fight on water and have the time to add more on land, I, I think the hope is lost. It's it's. It's heart-wrenching to see, but Blue still fighting Orange. Teal's still here. Teal is a madman. This guy is a legend regardless. Still fighting this. This is almost a two-hour long game. Do they have wood over here, by the way? They have five trees. Not even whole trees. And they lost a lot of trade. And then trees down here. That's it. That's it. They're gonna run out of wood to create ships. They're gonna have to start buying wood. In fact, they're tributing wood to each other right now. That's how bad it is. If they lose the wonder, they might lose the game because look at all the wood that green, red, and orange have. A hundred more years, the clock is ticking. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Clock's ticking, guys. <sighs> and <laughs> the military number is look at this gray has 141 military it's mainly on land just a ton of hustlers the water control i think will go into orange's favor against blue 
because green's now here there's a ton of traps the trev all the trevs need to do is just run in and kill the one that's it so they can like run right through the skirmishers and the hussars and it'll take those units a little bit of time to kill the traps they just have to kill that thing that's all they have to do i think they can actually do it this is gonna be epic so they're gonna go for it now uh oh uh, they need to be careful because teal's coming green send your ships <gasps> no 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 transport okay just run for it buddy just run no there's a cliff there's a cliff this is bad news this is bad news the units are coming out oh snap oh snap those traps are going down and i think that uh Attempt number one at 71 years has been denied. Wait a second. What's going on with the pathing from Gray's units as eagles come around? Send them into here and then launch. Send them into here and then launch. Don't click it and wait for them to go one at a time. They need to repair this. It's gonna be so close. They're sending the winters to repair it. They're launching. The hustlers are going. They fired a couple shots. Is it gonna be enough? There's only two remaining. There's still traps over here. Anything more to transport? I don't think so. And it looks like Defend the Wonder will be successful for Gray. And for Blue. And for Teal. But that was close. That was very, 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 very close. And still 52 years remaining. Oh man, that got my heart beating. Green has a ton of military over here, useless at this point. Useless, man. Come on. Ho hold, whoa. This could be the clutchest thing I've ever seen in my life. That's a song that I just invented. What can Kurt see? Where's the, where's the, where's the freaking wonder? He can see this here. What's in here? I assume it's green strebs. Go green, go, 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 go. I give you the power of Snippy. I give you the power of Snippy. Don't repair it blue. Forget about it. Forget about it. Just forget. I hope, I hope he gets it. Go, 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 go. The trebs are firing. It's being repaired. Eventually, he'll take it down. Eventually, he will take this down. It's at 31 years. 30 years. That's gonna go down. That's gonna go down after this volley. Are you kidding me? That is the clutchest thing. Green, after everything I said. After everything I said. You had a plan. Oh my gosh. That one area. Oh man. Oh, I can't believe I get so excited over this, but how can you not? My my heart is just like beating and like this is insane. That has to be as red transports red is even back in the game. Red transports hussars to raid the only wood line they have. That has to be the game. That has to be GG. They have all this military on land. It's completely useless. It's it's useless over here. It really is. It's it's a, it's so funny because like they were over here and they're just like, you know what, we gotta defend their one or we'll win. And now they've lost all this control and all this wood. Oh my gosh. That's that's great, man. And now they're losing some trade here as well. I, I can't believe that. Let's look at the resources now for some of these players. Um, you can see they have a little bit of wood. You can see blue is really struggling, man. Really struggling. In fact, most of his economy is like only 59 villagers. Everybody's low on villagers. Green has wood. Teal has a little bit of wood left, but he's gonna have to spend that. Ray, he has a little bit of wood left. But like, these guys over here... Wait, hold on a second. Are they doing it again? Who's building it? Teal is? What? They're going for it again? Are you kidding me? If it doesn't work the first time, just try again. They're just going for it again because they have no wood. I didn't think of that possibility. I can't believe that.
And now they're laughing in the chat. They still have all this land military. It's not useless. T90, you gotta think harder. That's crazy. And hold on a second. You have started to build a wonder. Orange is starting to build a wonder. Oh, whoa, whoa, wonder race. Delete the buildings, delete the buildings, send everything. It's a wonder race, guys. It's a wonder race. You have to send more villagers than that. Just send everything. Who's gonna win this? Um, uh, Teal's gonna win that by a long shot. Oh, man. That's, that's just... That's funny. Well, hold on a second. Treadmill Crane's coming in for orange. He needs red to delete that house. They need some help with uh, the villagers over here. Um, it's at 15% here, and by the looks of it, that is probably 60% here. Teal's gonna, gonna beat him, and that means that Orange and Co. are gonna have to do this stunt all over again, and no, don't lose the transport. It's gonna happen. They're gonna get it, aren't they? They're gonna do it again! Orange! Green! You guys! You're maniacs. There's the train. Oh, the transport's on 4 HP, too. No, you gotta send it now. See, the trouble is... I'm worried for them, because this transport could have gone and destroyed this wonder. And it, it could have made it. Um, it could already have deployed. Now, Blue has all these cab archers, and... That could cause problems. They're going to repair the ship now? Or is he gonna get back in? I'm not sure. Whose wonder was destroyed? What? How was that wonder destroyed? GG. They called the GG. How was the wonder destroyed? We have to figure that out. Does anybody know how that wonder was destroyed? Maybe he deleted it? I, I'm not sure. We're gonna have to investigate. There's no cannon galleons here. They may have just deleted it. Understanding that the transport was coming in. But what a game. What a game. I assume, I mean, obviously we have to investigate because we have to know. But there's nothing around here. Nothing was destroyed. No siege is going down. So it has to have been deleted. Um... There's no way, there's no way I can rewind, but I, and there's no way I can rewatch either. <laughs> um, we know that Orange, at this rate, would have deployed the Trebs. We know that Blue would have had Cav Archers somewhere. Not sure where he took them. Over here, I guess. Uh, but even if the Cav Archers were there, that would have gone down with the support of the Galleons. And I'm a little bit disappointed Orange didn't get the Gory in the end, but man, what a fantastic game. Who do you even give the MVP of that game to? Like, you have to think back um, to just how strong Green was in holding the land because Orange was not doing very much at all. I think it's definitely between Green and Orange. You guys can tell me what you think right now. But then Orange, of course, was just so fantastic on water, as Mayans as well, adding in the fire ships and the galleons. He's, he's a um, very versatile player. It's difficult to play against Byzantines. And then Orange lost his attack, and Green came out of nowhere with great map awareness and uh, attacked the only vulnerable area that Blue had. Oh, nasty Kenas Dag C just said, okay, time to calm down and enjoy some AoE too. Wow, that's that's kind of crazy, man, because I was just thinking, man, I need to calm down after watching some AoE too. Because that was crazy. Red MVP for sure. You think Red, M Red is the MVP? I mean, Red, still Red stayed alive, so... <laughs> I mean... He hung in there. Look at Orange's KD. Maybe that'll help you decide. <clears throat> um, you can see the units killed, the units lost. And as Mayans, I mean, he was up against a lot of strong civs and players. On water and on land. He did a great job. I have to credit Orange for this one. Uh, you can look at the gold collected, trade profit. Gray had no trade profit whatsoever. Let's look at the wood collected. Orange had more wood collected. A lot more wood collected. 
<laughs> a lot more wood collected, but he was everywhere. I remember him building a TC in uh, Green's base. There's the technology stats and the society stats now, which all is really not important. You can see total wonders. Arch didn't get his up, but he was going to have one. And the team who had the most wonders lost the game. I actually want to look real quick. What was the score like at the end? Okay, it looks like the total score at orange, green, and right at the top. Sometimes it's nice to see the bottom score win the game. That music is... That game is worthy of that music, man. Whew. Just imagine your Soldado, the Alum, you just, like, won that game. Or Master, you just sniped that wonder. And you're listening to this victory music. Whew. Amazing. Sometimes we don't appreciate the small things. Like snow on an Age of Empires overlay. Alright. 